How far can one go? I mean, is there an attainment for emptiness? Is there something that can attain emptiness? Attain the self? It appears as if the attainer becomes or merges as a part of emptiness like ice dissolving in warm water. In fact, that's a very way, good way to describe awakening from duality into non-duality. But what knows it? How far does the ice melt? And how far does the the disappearance of the knowledge of I, the person, melting and then disappearing. You see, the disappearing or the merging appears to be a dissolution. It appears to be that, well, if everything is going, all that I am all that I have become accustomed to, this form, this story, this life, it's all going. It's all melting into one big pot, one big emptiness. But in fact, that's a trick. That's what it appears like. And that's what takes place. But it's a merging together as one. You see? So secretly, consciousness wants that what is fearsome or fearless to give up and surrender. And in the giving up and surrendering, it tricks you and fools you into becoming whole. How can you lose <laughs> your body through a dehypnosis of conditioned thinking? How can you lose your life? How can you lose your ability to talk? How can you lose your conditioning? How can you lose completely your ego? It's emerging to become full. As you see, you forgot about the main character in your existence, the emptiness. You forgot about it. You are plunging or pillaging through life. Pillaging through life. Forcing your way through the paths, many paths. Adding on apps, CV stories, experiences, names, identities. And that's okay. That's okay. But you've left behind emptiness. You're like the slug or the snail. When the front, I don't know what you call it, the, the feelers, the tentacles, they're out well ahead. And time, it slides along the back two legs. Uh, they're about 10. 15, maybe 20 seconds behind. They just are pulled along. You're pulling emptiness along like it's a problem. Like it's, you know, holding you back. And what you're doing is you're reversing. You've stopped, you gave up, you've surrendered, you're reversing back to the true, original, empty, non-dual, pure, conscious, being that you are there you so therefore you become full you become complete you become whole you know speakers like this they're not supposed to speak like this because you know if I was to 
make money from such signs, you know, I've just told you you're being tricked. But the genuine ones, they don't, they don't consider the value of um, their own specific experience is more special than anyone else's experience. Sharing is not a possibility. It's not a process. It's not a, a an option. It's giving. You see, you give up to receive the most precious gift, and then you give it up. No costs, no charges, no rewards, no mentions, no names, no Wikipedia bullshit stuff, no saintliness, no, no gains or any more attains. How could one want to attain more than finding and discovering their true original self that is never disconnected from any other human, any other living form, any other being, any other spirit, any other soul, any other form or quality of consciousness. All is one. In all ways, always. Some question emptiness what can come back as fullness and say it's empty <laughs> it's a contradiction some question self and that's when you if you're one of these questioning these determined ones that question even your non of the state of non-duality that appears to be appearing as what you can't say you are appearing as that what it is uh, you 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 you're going to come towards a, 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 a definite stumbling point and it's good no you don't go this far but you realize there is a sense of self that's all that exists there is a sense of emptiness there is a sense of fullness there is a sense of being alive are you the sense of emptiness are you emptiness are you fullness what senses even itself as empty it brings you to what no or what I don't recall hearing anyone talk openly about beyond self beyond emptiness is an essence an essence And you, there's no, no mind when you experience it. There's no you that experiences it. There's just something within that stops, circulates, and dies. The most profound and tranquil, pure, lucid death. Essence is not anything other than that what is beyond emptiness fullness self essence is life life is God so therefore all is God all living and non-living, if there is anything non-living, I've never met anything non-living. You see, even the body, when it ceases to operate, when it turns a different color, when it goes rigid, 
it still dies, it still fades. So there's a process of it fading into the earth or the flames. So it doesn't stop moving, you see. There's no physical, absolute stop. That's why there is no end. That's why we cannot say death is an end. It's just another product of consciousness. The essence, and you, the, this, this speaker itself cannot, something stops you even understanding, but it's state of peace, it's state of contentedness, that e sense, e sense, it is before the senses, before emptiness, it's like the, the animal that smells for food, it needs the nose, it needs the body, it needs to be alive, it needs the food to exist, it needs a way to get to the food, but the first thing that arises is the essence. Something needs food. It's not a thought, it's something that is very natural and just happens. And this is the result of the happening. The essence is dreaming about food, about life, about emptiness, about self, about everything that it conjures up through thoughts, imaginations, fantasies, and appearing to exist as a form or no form. The essence of life is the life giving itself life as essence, essential, essential for everything, essential for God to experience itself, essential for life to experience itself. Life is essential and that what is essential can never be taken away. It can never be taken away. It just appears in different forms, in different ways, in different methods in different states, in different energies, in different frequencies. It is consciousness just always within itself, infinitely, immortally, always here. As that.